Hi, today I'd like to talk about Puificat Silver. It's one of the most expensive and exclusive makers in the world. The company was founded by Emile Puificat in 1820. He developed a small shop in Paris and he made flatware, hollowware, and items for the Catholic Church. The family continued making silver for many, many years. One of the principals in the company was Jean Puificat. He fought in the First World War and then rejoined the family business. And he created great arts and crafts, sort of modernism pieces in flatware and hollowware. In 1928, he got married. And for his wedding, he created a pattern. The pattern is called Cons. This week, we got the greatest set of con silver. It's 14 place settings, no, 14 pieces per place setting, 12 place settings, and many, many servers. So here is that set. I love the, the knives, the sharp pointed knives, simple and super heavy. The dinner forks, again, massively heavy, great design. There's five other forks in the pattern. Big spoons and spoons for every type of thing. So this is a dinner spoon. There's oval soups, there's ice cream spoons, there's cream soups, there's teaspoons. Then servers. This is pretty cool. Here's a fish server. And according to the catalog, this is the fish serving fork. That's the most unusual fish serving fork I've ever seen. The salad set, again, massively heavy, big pieces. Here's a buffet fork. Here's a cake server. And this little piece here is a sugar sifter. Now, I said that it was exclusive, and it really is. All these pieces are still made and they're expensive. So like a dinner knife is around $800 along with a dinner fork. Some of the smaller pieces are only five or $600. The big servers are over $2,000 a piece. And then exclusive little pieces like this little sugar sifter, it's $2,600. I hope you don't like iced tea and like this pattern because I don't have any of this set, but they're charging $3,000 for an iced tea spoon. That better be really good iced tea if you're, if you're going to enjoy it with this pattern. So, so anyway, continuing on with his life. So he continued making modernism and art deco patterns for the next decade and a half or so. And um, then his life was again changed because of war. As I said, he was a soldier in World War I, and now World War II was looming. 1941, he decided he was going to leave France as the Germans were invading. And he had to pick a place. And his choice really surprises me. His choice was Mexico. And he wrote from Mexico that Mexico was a paradise for a silver designer because they had a, a long history of silver smithing in Mexico. They had skilled silversmiths and they also had a lot of sil raw silver. And the other thing that was great was cost of labor in France was extremely high. And in Mexico, it was very reasonable. So he set up a shop in Mexico City. He, again, uh, with the skilled, inexpensive labor, created a vast amount of really great mid-century silverware and silver hollowware. Un unfortunately, he only outlived 
w the end of World War II by a few months. He died in October of 1945. But he lives on through his wonderful silver that's still produced by one of the most exclusive silver companies in the, in the world, Puifacat. Thank you.